So about a month ago, I did a decant swap with two other channels, Ross from TLTG and Dedrick Hicks Jr. And we did a decant swap where we basically gave away on a live stream, we gave five decants away to each other, and then we reviewed them. Well, the one that I got from Ross, I absolutely fell in love with. I actually think that it might be the best tropical fragrance in existence. People compare it to God of Fire, but... I honestly think it's like much better. Today I'm gonna to be doing my full review of one that I just got in and I'm super excited that I finally found a full bottle. It is Lamari Porthole. So without further ado, let's get it. What's going on my great smelling dudes welcome back to my channel my name is randy aka fragrance dude thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another full review of a fragrance that i just got in i actually got in a big haul which i'm going to be doing the haul in a few days and i will include this only in a short snippet but i wanted to do a full review of this because i ha don't have one on my channel for this yet so again, uh, before we get into the video, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate everybody who joins my channel. On the way in, everybody hit that like. Comment below, let me know if you tried this, if you were interested in trying it, if you like tropical fragrances, all that kind of stuff. So again, I had a live stream. It was a decant swap with Ross and Dedrick. We gave five of the same fragrances to the other two people, and then we tried out all of those fragrances on a live stream and this happened to be one of them which i immediately gave it like a 9.2 out of 10. I, you guys know i have like five or six fragrances that are like a nine or above and this was definitely one of them so i had to pick up a bottle i wore through the entire decant and it was actually really hard to find a bottle of this because um in the united states it's a european fragrance that is usually only sold in europe they do get it in on scent split from time to time and even on ebay it was hard to find but scent split was sold out even the site lamari was sold out and i ended up waiting like a month and then scent split ended up getting one in but anyway today we're going to be doing my full review again on lamari porthole so i'm going to show you a bit of the uh presentation just so you guys are familiar because i've never done a lamari on my channel before i've actually never heard of them until i tried out this fragrance so it comes in a big portfolio like this that slides out and then inside that you open it up and it's a nice case where the bottle sits here you pull this tab and the bottle comes po popping out it has felt on the inside it's a really nice uh Really nice looking um, box for sure. I mean, but it's just the box, so whatever. Um, but this is the bottle right here. And I can say this is one of the heaviest bottles in my collection. So I would say it's at least two to three pounds. I mean, it's a heavy bottle. Really thick, heavy glass. Really, really nice. It says Lamari Porthole. And if you don't know what a porthole is on a cruise ship or any kind of ship, it's the hole that you can see out of that's usually on the below deck. Um, then it has this cap, which does click into place, but I wouldn't suggest picking it up from the cap, even though it should be fine. I did this thing where I just, I shake it or vibrate it and it did fall off. So definitely don't do that. And then here is the atomizer. Apparently this used to be pressurized. It's not anymore but the atomizer is still pretty good. Um, my bottle slightly leaked a bit, but it was also the box was damaged in transit. They are refunding me $30 because of that. With that said, this bottle goes for $280 retail. But I do want to say, if you are in the United States and you are going to buy it and you go through SenseSplit, don't go straight to SenseSplit's website. Go through Google, type in Lamari Porthole, and then the SenseSplit uh, shop Will, will pop up, click on it, and then it'll automatically give you like 15% off the order, which brings this down under 250, which is actually really nice. Uh, so with that said, how does this fragrance smell? Well, let me get you the full note breakdown so you can follow along with me since this is a full review. The top notes are pineapple, bergamot, and sea salt. Mid notes are passion fruit, ginger, and white blossoms. And the base notes are caramel, white musk, and woods. 
There's one note in here that I don't know if it's just the blend of the passion fruit and the pineapple, but it definitely seems like it's in here and they just didn't mention it, which I mean, would be something that they would do. I mean, most fragrance companies do that. They don't give the full note breakdown. With that said, it smells like mango. Um, when you first spray this fragrance on, it is super fruity. And don't get me wrong, this fragrance is fruity from the opening all the way through the dry down. And when you first spray it on, you definitely get hit in the face with pineapple. You get hit in the face with this passion fruit. But it comes together and it almost smells like a pineapple mango mixture. Uh, so I don't actually know what passion fruit smells like. I mean, I could guess, I mean, based on all of the other fragrances, I know what the oil of passion fruit smells like, but in real life, I've never smelled one. But I know what mango smells like, I know what pineapple smells like, and it kind of just smells like if you mash those two together in real life. That's why I say that, because it smells like a natural pineapple. It smells like you're smelling a pineapple and smelling a mango and tossing them together and then kind of just doing a little bit of <laughs> doing this like I was trying to do like a salt grinder, like a seat salty grinder. Well, if you add the pineapple and mango together and then you have a nice dash of sea salt on top, it is like a salty, fruity fragrance with a musky base. It is absolutely fantastic. And this fragrance, unlike almost every other fragrance that has come out that is tropical, outside of maybe Coca Loco, at least that I've tried. None of them seem to last. And so this one, it does, but I'll get to the performance in a little bit. We're still gonna be talking about the fragrance itself. So it is a very simplistic, which you guys know, I love simplistic summer fragrances. I like fragrances that, like Louis Vuitton, they have their afternoon swim, just smells like orange and musk. They have Pacific Chill, which is like apricot with greens and musk and that that those fragrances are all simplistic but very very good i like my summer fragrances simplistic and this one if you like tropical fruits and sea salt that's what this is with musk as it starts to dry the only thing that you can notice it does say that it, there's caramel in the dry down it doesn't come off like ooh, that's caramel no but it has this almost sticky candy like feeling that mixes into it while out not be, not becoming any kind of like synthetic. It doesn't feel a synthetic fragrance. This feels very natural, fruity, fresh, clean. It is amazing. This is a fragrance you're gonna wanna wear pretty much, and I would say you would wanna wear it to like the beach or the pool, but because of how good Porthole is, I wanna wear it like anytime it's over like 75 degrees. It's just that good. It's that juicy. It's that natural. If you don't like really fruity fragrances, like I know somebody said in one of my posts, it's really good, but I don't like fruity fragrances, so I don't like it. Everybody else that I've talked to that have tried it, they love it. I mean, it's, it's a great fragrance. And I know Dedrick also tried it on that live stream, and we both at the same time went, wow. Just wow. It is that good. So... Whenever I first tried this out, right after the live stream, I had a bunch of my subscribers text me, message me, DM me, whatever. Kept saying, you need to try out uh, Stephanie Humbert Lucas, Lucas, God of Fire. Apparently it's huge on TikTok right now. I saw it on Venba, it was 200 some dollars. I was like, I'm not gonna blind buy it if it's compared to this, cause it is compared to this on multiple sites. So one of my moderators, uh, Mo, sent me a decant of it and Newt is sending me another decant because it was a very small decant. And I tried out God of Fire and it doesn't even come close to hitting this. So if you have smelled God of Fire and you like it, which it does smell nice, the opening especially, the opening of God of Fire is nice. The, the fruits are died down a bit. As you get to the dry down, it kind of doesn't know where it's going and it starts to get very light. This is kind of just like God of Fire on steroids if you made everything just feel natural. And it is pushing out better, it's more fruity, it's more fresh, it's more clean. It's literally what I said about Suspiro Vibrato versus Ingenious Ginger, where Vibrato is better 
than an ingenious ginger while super similar in every category vibrato is better outside of the fact that ingenious ginger is the warm one that you can wear for the cold weather that's the main difference there while this one it's better than god of fire in every single category and there's not even a category that i can say that god of fire beats it at so if you're looking for god of fire and you want something like that and you've tried god of fire and you like it i would at least get a decan of this before you make a full bottle purchase because i'm telling you if you get god of fire and then you get a decan of this you're going to be really depressed about the fact that you bought god of fire and that's sad for me to say because i like that bottle and i really wanted to buy it and hopefully i find a different option from stephanie humbert lucas that i like because their bottles are pretty cool but i'm saying porthole is great as far as the performance, when you first spray it on, it is pushing out above average. It fills up a room, not like Sauvage Elixir style, but it's definitely a heavy, almost on the par with Coca Loco in the opening. It's above average, YSLYEDP style, like six, seven feet for sure, pushing out that salty pineapple, mango, musk. So freaking good. As you get to the dry down, again, it's still very fruity. After about three to four hours, because it's pushing out above average for at least three to four hours. So that is how nice it is. That's how good Lamari did with this. Going into the dry down, after about three to four hours, it starts to get more along the lines of moderate, where you still have a personal bubble rocking. And that personal bubble is rocking for another three to four hours. After that personal bubble does wane, it maybe sits at a skin scent for like, hour eight to nine but then it's gone but for this type of fragrance to get eight to nine hours that is absolutely phenomenal and i did spray it on clothes and you can smell it on your clothes a few days later i mean this is one of my favorite fragrances if we're talking about summer fragrances this might be as far as fruity fragrances or tropical fragrance it is my favorite tropical fragrance this is one of t this is in my top 10 fragrances that i own um, but again, you have to like tropical fruitiness. This is going to be unisex through and through 100%, not leaning one way or the other, because again, it's tropical fruitiness. I, I really don't see that there's not like a heavy floral. There's a bit of jasmine floating through at some point in the fragrance, but not heavy. And you really can't smell it. It's more of a salted pineapple mango or salted pineapple. Um, what was the passion fruit? I had, I had to look up my note breakdown because I, for, I keep forgetting because it smells like mango to me. Um, with that said, Lamari Porthole, not only is the bottle great, not only can you get it around the same price as God of Fire, it is just an amazing fragrance. It's just, you can only get it really one place if you live in the United States. So I don't know why this one isn't as hyped. And I'm really excited because there's other ones in this line that are compared to Layton, compared to other things that I really want to give a shot. Um, so I'm really interested that you'll probably end up seeing me blind buy a few more Lamaris just because of how good the quality is, how good the performance is. Across the board, that fragrance is a 9.2 to a 9.5 for me. I love it. Um, but that is Lamari Porthole. I hope that you guys get some interest out of this. I hope at least you try a decant because... This is a decant-worthy fragrance. If you like tropical fragrances, even in the slightest, then there you go. And if you're somebody who doesn't like coconut and all the other tropical fragrances that most people smell have coconut, well, there you go. There's your winner, no coconut. And I'm gonna send a couple decants out to my moderators so they can try it and they'll be happy about it. I can tell you that. With that said, I'm not going to keep you guys here any longer. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video, what the fragrance, all that good stuff, if you're going to buy it. And again, I'll be back with another one. Peace out.